Hello and welcome. Uh, back with the Benina 1000 designer here and the in the assessment uh, slash buyer's guide video if you've seen that you would have seen that the uh, control knobs here uh, the stitch in particular the stitch width knob is very stiff and the buttonhole function gets jammed when going to the third step uh, so I've got a wee problem to sort out there yeah I'll leave a link in up here somewhere for the uh, link to the assessment video also in that video I show you how to get the side panel and the back panel off the machine here so I really just wanted to get access in there and see what's going on with that uh, those control knobs. I know that more than likely that this uh, stitch width knob here will probably just need lubrication so I'm going to track that down first. Now if we have a look in the back of the machine here I'll try and get the light in here. We're looking in through this, this hole here. I'll get you a closer look at that. Okay now if I turn the stitch width lever on the front there you can see this here turning and I think that's where the I need to get the lubrication into there onto that shaft so I'll go ahead and do that I'm using um, CRC 556 penetrating oil you could use WD-40 just a lightweight penetrating oil and we just want to target this here target that area so we don't want to go putting too much of this penetrating oil in there and um, once once I do get this freed up I'll follow up with um, standard sewing machine oil something a little bit heavier for a more long-term uh, solution for lubrication yeah it's starting to free up already so I'm, I'm just going to work away at that until that's completely free. I um, might just need to warm the machine up. It's quite a cold day here today and um, I've just got the room slowly warming up. So um, you know this machine might take a wee while to get up to temperature and that just the warming of the machine just helps the uh, penetrating oils get in. So I'll work away on that and I'll come back and we'll see how we go with figuring out what's going on with the buttonhole mechanism but I, I suspect it could be related to to this problem here. That actually didn't take too much. It's uh, only a couple of minutes later and nice and free now. And that's also fixed this issue with the buttonholer getting jammed. Uh, the reason the buttonholer is getting jammed is that it directly drives this mechanism, the width mechanism. You can see the knobs changing their position there. So when I turn the buttonhole knob there you'll see the uh, needle positioning and the width changing position there. So this is directly linked with this, you know, these mechanisms here, and that being so tight was just basically jamming this um, buttonhole knob here. So um, that's fixed. It's uh, just a quick one, really. That, that everything else seems okay. All the other knobs and controls seem fine. Yeah. So I'll, I'll just go ahead and give this machine a service and put it back together, and. Um, I think that'll be a nice little run of that machine. So I hope you found that helpful and thank you very much for watching.